morning guys i'm Lillian and welcome back to my channel so it's literally half past four in the morning i'm so tired but i'm also really really excited because today we're actually flying to poland so we're going to krakow i've always wanted to go since being younger and this is actually my 18th birthday present from my grandma and granddad i am 20 this year but because of lockdowns it just kept getting pushed back and back but the day has finally come. We're flying out there today. It's only a two hour, 15 minute flight. So I'm going to go get ready, put a bit of makeup on because we literally just want to go straight out and start exploring. So yeah, I'm going to show you getting ready and take you on the journey with me. Hope you enjoy this video. Okay guys, so I've just literally rolled out of bed and it's time to get ready. So the first thing I need to do, and I do it all the time when I'm flying, is moisturise and moisturise. Because obviously when you're on a plane, your skin can get really dry. I have psoriasis and it's quite bad at the minute, so I need extra, extra moisture on my skin. If I am doing long call, sometimes I'll take like a Sephora face mask and do that halfway. But obviously with it only being a two hour flight, like I said, there's no point. So I'm just going to make sure I use loads of moisturiser first. So I'm just using this one. I think it's Clarins. It's my mum's actually. Um, I need to get my own, but I just keep forgetting. So I'm just going to put some on this and then literally just rub that in everywhere. So in terms of Krakow, we were actually quite nervous. Like I said, we've had this booked for two years. We've been so looking forward to it. And then obviously with recent events with the whole Ukraine and Russia thing, it made us very nervous to come. I mean, it's absolutely heartbreaking what's happening. And um, we just didn't know if it was safe, if they'd want tourists going in, because I know they've got lots of refugees over there. Um, so what we actually did, we signed up to like the Polish government. Um, we signed up on email, so they send us regular emails on like COVID and then now this situation. Um, and they're saying like it's safe to come. They want tourists because obviously they need the money for that they've missed out in lockdown and they need the money to even help the people of Ukraine. So they're asking people to come. My mum's actually, sorry, I'm just putting some concealer just where my psoriasis is breaking out. Um, My mum's actually in the travel industry, so she's been asking him work, like, is it safe? Is it good to go? Because we didn't also want to go and see refugees when we're having a holiday that have lost their homes and that because it'd just be like disrespectful in our half but obviously they're still at the border at the minute not many have made it to Krakow um we do know some people who's just come back as well and they said they didn't say anything they felt really safe there were some peaceful demonstrations for Ukraine which absolutely amazing like that doesn't bother us whatsoever so we've made the decision to go and obviously jet to who we're going with wouldn't send us if it wasn't safe and i think our plane's actually full um but my family we've done everything we can to help um we've been raising money sending food blankets with church um i'm trying to find some small businesses of ukraine to order from so it's not like we're just going and completely ignoring what's going on we have been doing our best to help but we've made the decision to go and hopefully we'll have a nice time and i'll just keep you updated on what we see if we see anything um if it feels safe whatsoever just in case you're going soon because i know loads of people who are going in the next few weeks so this might be useful and then in terms of covid i'm just brushing my eyebrows through just to add some shape to them in terms of covid um you do have to wear masks inside at the minute um, you don't have to wear them outside but inside so that includes if you're doing tours you obviously have to wear them um, they are quite strict on it as well now that obviously does change every week at the minute so just kind of if you are going just kind of keep updated with the guidelines and regulations so i've just got ready i've got this cream velvet tracksuit on from boot avenue it's wide leg so comfy and this little white vest on with it these white night trainers literally my comfiest pair and yeah we're all ready to go so my granny's just picked us up because the minibus is getting us from their house but it is literally still pitch black outside nobody's awake i feel like it's only acceptable to be up this early for the airport so we just got it the minibus is literally coming in five minutes i think but I am so excited to use my suitcase. I got it for Christmas in 2019. And then obviously with lockdown, I've just not had a chance to use it. And then my little handbag, this is from House of LBD. The suitcase is from HB London. This is House of LBD. I got this for Christmas and it's so cute and classy. 
not brought much with me today hand luggage wise i just got my neck pillow and then a book a little bag with toiletries in and then just like headphones charger a brush and a sleep mask because i'm really hoping i get asleep on the plane um i do actually have the little one in this hb london that i've taken away for hand luggage but that's more for like long haul when we do america but it's so cute and what i love about them is they have the tsa approved locks already in them so you just put them in put your code in and it's nice and secure and safe but i absolutely am obsessed with these and i definitely recommend for anybody who likes traveling but yeah we're gonna wait for the minibus now hey guys i'm just editing and i thought i'd throw this little clip in just for some more information so we actually traveled with jet 2 from manchester airport but jet 2 also fly from belfast birmingham bristol east mids edinburgh glasgow leeds stansted and newcastle to krakow airport then you've obviously got the likes of Ryanair and EasyJet who also fly to Krakow from different airports. And one thing I actually forgot about this is that we're going in the brand new terminal, Terminal 2. It's had a massive revamp over lockdown and I've seen so many videos on Facebook and Instagram and it looks so bougie and so nice. So I'm excited to go and see the new terminal, see if it's living up to my expectations. So I'll keep you updated on that further in the video. So we just got through security. Now I will say the security queue was so long. And if you had to get your bag checked, it was another 40 minute wait and some people would literally miss a plane. So it's definitely something to consider if you come into Manchester airport, just allow extra time for security. Me and my mum have just found a pret and we nipped in. My mum got a sandwich. I just got a little yoghurt pot and a vegan burrito. And then my mum got a coffee and I got an oat latte just to take on because we didn't really fancy a sit-down meal with it being a short haul flight. Something I'd say, this terminal is stunning. It looks very modern, but it's very fancy. There's not a lot of grab and go. Pret was literally the only grab and go. It's definitely more of a long haul terminal, I'd say, than a short haul, but it does look really nice. And it feels so good to be back in the airport. We're just trying to find our plane, but I don't actually think we can see ours from here. But yeah, I'll update you when we're on the plane. With this being my first holiday since lockdown, finally, I'm so excited and I'm going to take so many photos and videos that probably won't make it into these videos. So if you want to see more Krakow content, head over to my Instagram at Parkinson Millie and you can see it all over there. We just got in our seats. I have a window seat, my favourite seat ever. The plane's actually really comfy. We've never flown with Jet 2 and I am impressed. Just put my book and my pillow down there because my bag won't fit. But everything went so smooth and we're all ready to fly. So we're about 45 minutes into the flight and they've just come round. Had to get me and my mum Rosé Prosecco, our favourite, because why not? We're on holiday. And as you can see outside, it's a really beautiful day. It's really clear, no turbulence. And I just love watching through the window as we go through the clouds. The rest of the flight went really smooth, no turbulence whatsoever, which was great because turbulence does freak me out a little bit. We managed to get two drink services in, which was great. And it was such a clear day. You could literally see everything. It was so nice watching outside the window and it went so quick. As soon as we was up, it felt like we was already coming down again. So we made it to Krakow Airport, all safe and sound. Our bags were literally the first off the belt, which was great. So we're just waiting for the taxi to come and pick us up. So we did actually book a private taxi, which we arranged before we come out here. I will leave the link in the description below in case anybody wants to use them. They're so nice, so helpful. They picked us up in a nice Mercedes van and they told us to text them when our bags were coming. And then they come round and met us in the arrivals and help us put our bags in the car. And now we're off to our hotel. We're literally five minutes away from the airport and I've already just spotted a subway on the way. It's actually quite a fancy subway, you can see it better now. It looks like a ski chalet sort of building. We just found a KFC as well. It's funny because I always forget that they have the chains like this in Europe. And every time I see it, I'm like, oh my God. But then it's actually normal because they're literally everywhere. It's about a 30 minute drive from the airport to Krakow Centre and I must say we have seen some stunning buildings. The architecture, it's just unbelievable. It just looks so historical and so quaint. So we've just been dropped off at our hotel. We're staying at the Golden Tulip which is in Kazimierz, Poland which is actually the Jewish quarter. 
and it's a four star hotel that we booked through Jet 2. The pictures look really, really nice. It's like a boutique hotel. We're only sleeping there, but it looks really pretty and really clean and it was a great price. So we're gonna go in and check in and then I'll update you all later. Hi guys, so we just got to our hotel. It's actually really nice. Uh, we're staying at the Tulip Hotel in Krakow. So I'll link it below in case anybody wants to stay here if they're planning on coming. The flight was really good actually. I slept for half of it. Uh, not much turbulence, which was good. Um, airport wasn't too bad. We had all our documents ready, which made it easier. At the minute, you still need to do your COVID testing and wear masks in Poland, hence this. But I'm gonna do a quick room tour for you. And then I think we're just gonna chill for a bit, freshen up, and then go and do a bit of exploring around Poland. So you walk in and then here, you've got a wardrobe and then a safe as well few hangers and then some shoe room which is good and then we've got something to put your luggage on here ignore our suitcases and then there's a full length mirror here and then we've got a little desk here it's got a kettle then some teas and coffees and cups and then a phone and some water and then we've got another mirror here the lamp there and then a chair there and then here we've just got a mini chair and tables which is quite cute then a little bedside table and then light switches and plug outlets there's a reading lamp as well which would be great and then i think it can be a joining room but we've not joined in so that's obviously locked and then we've had to get a double bed so me and my mum are sharing which will be fun but we move and then nice tulip picture here. I think there's different tulip pictures in every room. And then there's a telly at the end here. And then another little bedside table. And then the view. Can't really see much to be honest with you. But. And then I'll just take it back around here and we'll see the bathroom because I'm not seeing it myself actually. Oh, this is cute. So, I've got a shower here. I've got a sink, some towels, hair dryer, although it probably won't be that powerful. Toilet. So, yeah. So yeah, that's the room. It's actually really nice. The hotel's really nice. There's a cocktail bar downstairs and a restaurant. We actually ended up booking breakfast because it was literally so cheap and it looked really nice online. Um, so I'll show you more of the hotel as we walk down later. But yeah, for now, we're just going to chill for a minute because it's been non-stop. I was actually up at half past four. And then we're going to have a quick Google and then go and see what we can do and hopefully get some food. So I'll see you all in a bit. Okay, so I've just freshened up got ready into some warmer clothes because it's definitely a lot colder here and I think we're just going to have a wander maybe to the old town, get some food, have a look around but I thought I'd do a little outfit of the day so shoes are just Nike ones, socks are champions and then these purple fleece joggers are shine, sheen, however you say it this is shine, sheen, the skeleton and then knitted beanie again, shine, sheen and then I've just got this little small bag just with my purse in so yeah this is the look you would have seen this outfit if you watched my haul last video but yeah we're gonna go and explore me and my granddad have just come down to look at the cocktail bar it's literally just next to reception there's plenty of seating and it's so bright and so cute the cocktails look really really nice they have some fruity options and i think you can actually come here if you aren't staying at the hotel and then obviously if you are staying you can also come for a drink so we just asked in reception and they kindly give us this map. So we're in the Jewish quarter currently and we're trying to work our way to the main square because that's the place everyone said that we have to go and try because there's loads of food and drink places apparently. So we're going to try and find our way there. They've got loads of the electric scooters that you can hire. And they've, I've seen some bikes around as well. But these are literally everywhere which would be quite fun if you wanted to do that. Right now we're literally oh, so trying to find where to go. So we're just walking along. We're trying to go to the old town, I think. 
On the opposite side of the road there's some really nice like boutique fashion places that I'm guessing they're narrate with the pink feathers and then there's a little bonjour cafe there. Everything's really really nice and cute and unique. I have seen obviously the KFC chains and that but the local little shops look really really nice. This is for me and you. We just saw a Prosecco bar, it sounds like mine and my mum's absolute heaven but we're finally on track. Luckily my mum and my granddad managed to look at the map again and sort out where we're going. So we're heading up towards the main square. I think there's loads of streets that actually all lead up towards the main square and you can go up any, but this is looking promising. So we're just heading up here and looking around. There's literally so many souvenir shops like this one. My grandma's already gone and bought a Christmas bubble. But that Pizza Topia, I've heard good things. It's meant to be like a build your own pizza. So we might try though one day whilst we're here. On our way up to the main square we saw so many beautiful buildings and blue skies so I thought I'd put in some pictures for you to have a better look but when we got all sorted it was only a 10 to 12 minute leisurely walk I'd say up to the main square from our hotel which is perfect walking distance and there were so many different streets and buildings that you could literally just spend all day exploring. So we finally made it up to Krakow main square this is probably one of the biggest tourist attractions apart from the tours and it is so stunning it's such a historical place so much has happened there and it's definitely a hub of activity so many different things going on so many places to eat and just so much to take in hi guys so i'm just editing and i thought i'd put in some interesting information that i actually learned on my trip so during world war ii krakow was actually spurred a lot of the devastation of the bombing raids that the rest of europe faced and this was actually because the Nazis preserved the city and chose it as the general government capital. So it was kind of a hub where they tried to control from. And obviously they're not going to bomb where the Nazi soldiers are. So because of this, a lot of the buildings that you see in Krakow, including the main square, were actually there before the war and hold a lot of historical value. Now, if you go to Schindler's Factory Tour, which I highly recommend, and you'll see that in vlog four, they actually show you pictures of the German soldiers in the Krakow main square doing demonstrations and you can actually recognise the buildings that you see whilst you're there. So when you look at the main square, it has so much history behind it and the buildings are literally pre-war and I guess it's that saying of if wars could talk because that main square has seen so much happen. It's just so fascinating to be there and take it all in. All in. I'm literally so in love with this square already and there's so many horse and carriages about that are so cute. We probably won't be able to go on one because my granddad's actually allergic to horses and so is my mum but that's definitely something cute you can do if you come down here. But we're just trying to find somewhere to eat because all of us are starving. We decided on eating at the Grand Grill in Krakow Main Square. It is on TripAdvisor if you want to go and have a look. And it is a grill restaurant specialising in steaks and burgers, but they also have cocktails, chicken and sandwiches on the menu. Our food has just come. Me, my grandma and granddad have all gone for this cheeseburger with chips. There's so much on it. It's such a big, chunky burger. My mum's actually gone for the chicken with chips, which also looks really nice. But I was just craving a cheeseburger. And there's like burger sauce, some lettuce, and I think there's some pickled cucumber on there as well but i'm sure i won't be able to taste that hopefully but yeah it's a really nice sized burger they even asked how it wanted to be cooked which is when you know it's going to be a good burger it's a little bit later on now tea was absolutely lovely the burger was cooked perfectly and the chips were just so nice definitely recommend we were just having a little explore and it is so pretty at night they have loads of these little pods as well for eating out so we're gonna have to try one of them before we go but all the buildings lit up it's just such a stunning place we just found this cute little cocktail bar called Chetsotska off the main square it's really nicely decorated it reminds me of the dirty martini in manchester quiet as well because it's a bit early for nightlife yet but i'm gonna have a look at the menu now our drinks have just come and they look gorgeous i've gone for this strawberry gin cocktail it's very big and it looks very strong 
and then my mum had to get an espresso martini it's one of her favorites this looks like a really really nice and creamy one i do have to say so myself and then my grandma and granddad just both got a glass of red wine i think it was just a house wine so yeah we're going to tuck into these before we head back for an early night we just finished our drinks and they were so nice but so strong i think my drink was like three or four pound and in england that'd literally be like 12 pound it's crazy another crazy thing that over here the cars but more importantly the trams literally stop for people to let them cross which is just mad to think about because manchester trams definitely don't do that but we've had a really good day exploring it's like 10 o'clock so we're heading back because we've got a tour really early tomorrow so we're going to pop the shop and then i'll see you back at the hotel literally every step of the way when you walk in here there's just some amazing thing to see i just love the buildings there's just no better feeling than exploring a new city and taking it all in we're nearly back at our hotel now we've seen a few spas so i think we're going to try and nip in one i think there's one opposite our hotel so I'll keep you updated so we have just nipped into a spa. I find it so exciting going in supermarkets when you're on holiday because I just love seeing all the different things that they have that you don't have at home. It seems really bright in here and there's loads of fruity drinks. The colour of this Fanta, that dark orange, is just like American Fanta. Probably a lot more sugar in it, but it tastes so much better. So I'm going to have to get one and try one. Hi guys, so we just got back to the hotel after just kind of exploring for the night. I will say it did get colder as the night went on. So if you're going in the day, just make sure you take an extra coat because you can obviously take it off when it's warm, but at night it does go quite cold. But we had a really nice night actually. Um, it's beautiful. The city is just so amazing. Like there's so many different buildings and it was great because we saw a lot of places that we're going to try over the next few days as well. So we've kind of set up a little itinerary. But we've just actually been, there's a spa opposite our hotel. Uh, we've just been there because we're going on the Auschwitz tour tomorrow. And this is something that I will note. For most Auschwitz tours that you book, there isn't actually time to get food on the tour. And obviously, I think it's like a seven and a half hour tour. So we're having breakfast in the hotel and then obviously dinner. You can take it on the coach with you and eat it whilst you're on the coach. So that's what we've done. So we've just gone. And I thought I'd do just a mini haul of what we got. So it has to be done when you're on holiday, city break, whatever. So we've got Lay's, we've got green onion flavoured. I'm not a massive fan of crisps, but I do like Lay's when I'm away. And then we literally, for tomorrow, and this might be a good tip, we just got some hot dog buns and then some, what we're hoping is ham. And then I think somewhere we've literally got some butter and some tin foil. So we're just going to make the sandwiches and then take them on the coach with us. So that's a top tip for anyone to just be prepared for that. Um, and then we also got some pop. Now you can get this in the UK, I'll show you. So we've got lemonade, well Sprite and Fanta. But for anyone who's been to America, the Sprite and the Fanta taste so much better. And that more luminous dark orange Fanta reminds me of the American one. So I'm hoping it's going to be the same. And this Sprite is still the darker bottle because I know I did sugar one. I know it's healthy, but it just does not taste the same. So we've got these, so I'm going to give them a try in a bit and hope that they're like the American ones full of sugar. <laughs> and then obviously we have to get a milk bar. This is my mum, so she got the bubbly milk bar there's loads of polish chocolate and sweets and beer so i think we're going to go in on the last day and get a few bits to take home for us and then we literally just got some water these are quite big bottles again for the coach so just keep in mind because i'd hate for if anyone does it to go on and not eat for like eight hours but yeah it's been a really good day exploring we're gonna literally just chill now we i was up at half four we've not stopped walking i need to find out how many steps we've done actually but i'm gonna get into bed read a bit probably face sam sam and yank and then go to sleep because i think we get a bit up at nine o'clock tomorrow but we need to be up for breakfast at like seven so we're just gonna have an early night but it's been a really good day and i'll see you all in the next vlog which will be day two bye guys